name is Nikki. I'm the clinical director of speech language pathology and today we are going to be making an orange lion. Uh, so in feeding therapy, we really love to, to play with food and enjoy food with our senses or at least learn about food with our senses without the pressure of eating. So today we're going to make a lion out of an orange. What does that look like? Well, we're going to use our fingertips to help explore the different foods, feel what they feel like, smell what they smell like, and look at the sight um, of them as well. So we're going to use our senses, most likely not getting all the way to touch or all the way to taste. However, maybe you do get to taste. We're not really sure. We're kind of following the lead of our child. Um, now, something to make sure is that if your child is not able to have carrots yet and they're too little, um, you can also use oranges or cuties uh, to make the mane. Today, we're going to use carrots for the mane. Okay, so first I'm going to start with my lion's face. As I move my lion, I am touching the rind um, of the orange and it's bumpy, it's orange, it's white on the inside, and the inside of it is sticky and wet and a little bit squishy, okay? And now I have the ears. Now my bananas have been sitting out for a minute and so they have changed into a brownish yellow color. And so I'm going to put my ears on top. We can talk about where the ears go too. Let's put the ears up top. Look at his cute little ears. These ears are sticky, they are squishy, and they are wet. I'm also going to put on my nose. Oh, it's a cute triangle nose. The nose goes in the middle. And so as I'm touching the nose, I'm also putting it down on the orange and I'm getting the feeling of it being wet. Often when our child feels this type of uh, texture of that sticky wet, you're going to see them do this immediately. That's okay, we keep playing. You can also have a wet rag next to them, so if it becomes too much, they can wipe their hands and keep on moving. We're not talking about foods in yummy or yucky terms. We're just talking about what they look like, what they feel like, and what they smell like. Okay, so next I have my whiskers, which I've cut the rind of the orange. So these are bumpy and they're just a little bit wet. They're a little bit drier now. And I'm gonna put two on each side. Now, wait a second, I still need my eyes. These are fun little sprinkles that I got during um, Halloween. You can also use blueberries as another substitute, and that's a great way to kind of get the feeling of blueberries. We're gonna put them in the middle. Oh, look at our lion. Wait a second, he's missing something. Wait a second, he's missing our carrots. So we've cut up our carrots into uh, thin little slices, and we're going to put them around the orange. So I'm going to put them over here. As I am doing that, I'm getting the feeling of the carrot. The carrot is all a little bit wet. It's a little bit cold and I'm putting it around. So I'm still looking at and exploring the oranges and the bananas as I'm doing this. So you can see that my lion is almost ready. We did it, rawr. This is a really cool way for us to be able to explore foods without the pressure of eating. So enjoy um, playing with your child and think about different animals that you can make and have fun making this lion. It's a great way to explore the smells of an orange, a banana, and a carrot. Thanks for playing with your food today with me and I hope this was a great activity for you to do at home. We'll see you guys really soon. Yahoo! Yahoo! Yippee! Yippee! Yippee!